In our last two sessions, we discussed a letter from a man who complained that his wife, Rhonda, had exaggerated how much he drove off the road while he was trying to read a map. I pointed out how he had used the wind to defend his behavior, as well as using the word maybe, and emphasizing that he'd gone off the road only by inches to minimize what he'd done. Now, back to the writer of the letter. In our last session, I mentioned that in the panic of the moment, you couldn't really be certain of the distance you'd driven off the road. It's much more important to understand, though, that the distance doesn't matter. You mentioned that you couldn't admit to something you hadn't done, as though it would be a lie to admit to driving three feet off the road when you believe it was really only six inches, when that isn't really the important point at all. Let me show you what I mean. When Rhonda told you that you drove way off the road onto the shoulder, you got distracted by the details. You compared that to what you thought was only a few inches. What you're missing is this. The real message Rhonda was trying to get across to you was this, quote, she was trying to say this, you drove far enough off the road to frighten me. You were being sufficiently careless while driving and reading the map that you made me afraid, and I wish you wouldn't do that." End quote. That is the message she was trying to convey. Now, was that message correct? Yes, it was. You were careless, and you did drive far enough off the road to frighten her. Can you admit to the truth of that? Yes, you can. The actual distance is utterly irrelevant. The details don't matter, and yet that is what you were quibbling about. Imagine that you're standing in the middle of the road, and I scream at you from the yard, move! There's an 80,000 pound truck about to run you over. Would you quickly move out of the street? Or would you turn, stand there in the street, not moving, and argue with me that it looked more like a 79,000 pound truck just before you got hit? Most of us spend far too much of our lives arguing about details that simply do not matter. You'll be much happier in your relationship with Rhonda if you'll always ask two questions. First, is my behavior making a positive contribution to the unconditional love in our relationship? If not, you need to reconsider what you're doing. In this case, you would have asked if quibbling over the details was adding to the love in your relationship, and one look at her face would have given you that answer. Second question, am I focusing here on me? If so, you need to rethink what you're doing. You were defending yourself and making excuses so you could be right. It was all about you, you, and you. You needed to stop, ask this question, and change direction. Once you realized the true meaning of her question, you could have said this, quote, you're right, I was not paying attention and drove off the road. If I need to look at the map, I'll pull over. I'm sorry I frightened you like that, end quote. Notice that any discussion of wind or distance becomes irrelevant, and Rhonda would have felt understood and cared for. Beautiful. Any time we focus on me, 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 that's the end of loving, and our conversations cannot go well. Nobody cares whether we're right. They only care if we're loving them. It's love that builds relationships, never 
being right.